hi guys welcome back to our channel um so we just have sort of a favorites video going on um i hope you like my tank top it's fuzzy i got it at target and the hot pink one was out of stock so i'm wearing blue which kind of sucks but i wanted to mention it because this is also a favorite <laughs> i'm wearing a big poncho poncho that my boyfriend got me for christmas so it's probably from kohl's i don't know where it's from but i like it it's comfy oh. Well, anyway, if you're interested to see what we have been loving recently, then just keep on watching. Okay, first thing I want to mention is the Auric Glow Lust. Um, this one I have in the shade Pyrite. Um, so this is a really good shade for me when I'm fully tanned. My tan is, you know gone as of now just about um but this is such a pretty like under your base kind of product or um, works great is just like your foundation like mm -hmm. just to smear on and like get out the door Ooh. yeah it's super nice it's really it's actually kind of thick so in a way it's almost like it's not like pore filling but it kind of it, it does have a little bit of a smoothing do that it. yeah it's so nice i do like mixing i like that it's thicker because i do like mixing it with like a moisturizer or like a more like runny primer or even mm -hmm. a pore filling primer um and i don't know it, it just has a better mixing medium type quality to it i think i have the shade selenite yeah mistake. bomb yeah i yeah so if you're what what did i buy i bought the shade up from this i think from pyrite one shade up and it was far too dark you bought citrine oh i bought citrine yeah i don't know why i thought citrine was gonna work for me but that's the first one i bought if you've seen our original auric video you'll see why that one didn't work at all for me um so if you bought that one and it doesn't work for you pyrite's your girl <laughs> this is uh the mac face and body studio radiance foundation i don't it's inconclusive whether or not this is the same or a different formula i'm pretty sure it's different i mean they have different ones on the mac site i don't know I've heard different things everywhere and I haven't honestly done the research so I don't really care that much. Um, either way, this foundation has been a godsend. I wear the shade C1. This is uh, C2. This is C2. And I think you also have what? C4 or C5? Yeah, I think I have C4. She's bought a new shade. Um, but it, it has, ju it's just perfect. It's just perfect. I literally don't want to wear another foundation. Um, I have been wearing other foundations because I'm panning other foundations. But this is the perfect, just a kiss of tint. Mm -hmm. without being just like a moisturizer or just a glowy primer yeah it's just beautiful it's perfect i love it i used it with my hands the other day oh <gasps> yeah. even better than with a sponge or a brush so good so good i cannot i cannot talk about my love for this i'm not it is just perfect it literally the first time i put it on my face i'm like yep this is a favorite that's it like yep. i knew we're done is, for this is going to you know outweigh all of my other other foundations but similarly i do really really like this fenty beauty skin tint I have mine in the shade, I think, 10. Yeah, the Easy Drop foundation, I guess. Skin tint. Blurring skin tint. Um, it does... I don't like it with a brush. I haven't tried it with a sponge. I do really, really, really love it with my fingers. Um, it just gives you that poreless, airbrushed kind of look. It's so gorgeous, and it's so thin, and it wears beautifully. I think that I'm going to get a, a lot of use out of this in the summer, um, like if I'm going outside because I'll be sweating. Um, I think this will be a little bit better for me rather than powdering. Just using something a little bit more matte will be great for me. So this is really nice and I would consider it more satin than matte, but it is just, very pretty with your hands. <laughs> so I bought another Maybelline Age Rewind like a while back and I just hadn't opened it because there were so many concealers I was trying to make my way through. Oh my god, I forgot how good this is. Like, everybody, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, Tati was the most known for just being, like, this concealer. This is the concealer. I feel like this works on everybody. Like, I have dry skin and it works beautifully on me. Mm -hmm. And people with oily skin say it works lovely on them. I, it's just the perfect amount of coverage. It's so smoothing on the skin. It's so beautiful. I don't, I love this concealer so much. I yeah, just I tend to go it through too. it like water because I don't know if it's just the applicator or maybe there's just not actually that much product in here, but... Oh, mama. <sighs> so, as always, I just need to reiterate my love for Salt New York. So, Salt New York blushes are just the bomb. Just so good. Um, this is our blush palette, and then we also have two new ones. They uh, We just can't squeeze them in here. Um, the magnetic palettes are really, really nice. I'll probably end up buying another big one to put our backups in and stuff, um, and our other blushes. Um, but my favorite will forever be spice from the older 
the older ones. Um, but I just don't know if Spice is still available. I'll just, I'll have to look. We'll have to look. I'll let you know on the screen if it's still available because it is my favorite ever. And then Rose is a really close second. It's a very nice neutral tone pink it's not too cool and it's not too warm oh, it's beautiful oh it's stunning for like a cool tone i feel like that would be a great lip color too mm -hmm. Ooh, like that, but I bet color pop tiptoe yeah um those are my two shades my two favorite shades and then raspberry and cranberry are just you know up there as well i love all of these funny enough the coral shades my least used my least used weird but i love them i just adore them and then we did get the Spring Duo in PR. Um, I've been using lavender the most. I thought for sure I would be using tangerine the most because, like, I love an orange blush mm -hmm. and, like, to have it in a cream is even better. But lavender? She mm. did it! She I'm wearing the damn lavender thing. today. It's just mixed with another blush. It's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And it, it looks, like, so intimidating because it's literally purple. But it's, it just looks so beautiful on the skin. And I hate Kiki for making these limited editions. I'm gonna have to go on the site because. I don't know, I might need a backup of both Spice and lavender. and lavender. I don't know what to say. It's not <laughs> often that we buy backups, of, especially of blushes, mm -hmm. but we use our salt blushes. Like, I use them almost daily. They're my favorite blushes. They're my favorite to top over a powder blush or to, like, mix and match because we have so many of them. Mm. We did, I should mention now, um, we did get a comment on like our one of our Salt New York videos about um, how they're just too greasy for some people. I don't find that they're like exponentially greasy on me, like not not in the same vein as like nude sticks necessarily. Or um, even the in that same comment, oh, this is the bronzy now. No, this is no. The um, in that same comment, they said their Tower 28 blushes have a better finish for them, but I find these to be just as dewy, if not dewier. Yeah, so I don't know. It's going to depend on you. I just wanted to mention, if you're somebody who doesn't like like a sticky kind of blush, if you like to powder and things like that, these may not be for you. Um, I just really, we both really like them. I don't know. Just figured I'd throw that out there so nobody buys them off of our recommendations and like hates them. If you haven't tried them this way, when I tell you my mind was blown, use a dry sponge. Pick it up on a dry sponge, apply it. Try it. Try it and get back to me. I'm actually going to have to ask Kiki if she's done that because they go from like beautiful, sheer, dewy to like BAM pigment with a dry sponge. I uh, love a dry sponge. <laughs> a dry sponge is a good tool. Um, but yeah, that's what we love from Salt New York, at least what we've been craving recently. Um, I've been using my Tower 28 Bronzino a lot. Um, this one's in West Coast. Uh, it's just really pretty. I like it specifically like to bronze my nose. I don't know why. I think just the shimmer in it. I had a, in the Natasha Denona tan tan palette, there was that cream uh, kind of sparkly bronzer shade that was very similar to this. And I used that on my nose too. I liked it for the same reasons. It just has like not too much pigment and it's cream. So it shears out really well, but it still has like this glow to it. It's just really, really pretty. I don't generally use this on its own though. Like I mm -hmm. tend to top it over my other kind of cream bronzers uh, just because I don't want a metallic forehead or a metallic cheek necessarily, but ooh, ooh, I've been loving her. I'm really glad I got it. For me personally, that is not warm enough to use as a bronzer when I'm tanned. So if you're like my normal kind of, you know, self tan skin tone, like keep that in mind. It doesn't really work very well for me personally. I might need a different shade or, but like, I'm not going to get into different shade. <laughs> um, this is the Milk Makeup Kush Lash Primer. Now I've been raving about this lash primer since I first got it. All right, it's great. I love it. This is hands down my favorite lash primer in existence. Um, L'Oreal is really good, but it's not as like crispy and like gunky. <laughs> it doesn't have as much girth. Um, I recently tried this as a brow gel. Wow. It's Let me good tell you, it, it's damn good as a brow gel. The thing about this applicator is it picks up a ton of products, so you have to, have to, have to wipe it off if you're going to use it as a brow gel. Um, but as long as it's not clear, it still is white when it dries down, so make sure you're using like a, a tinted it's brow gel on top. But it holds really, really well, actually, like just as well as, you know, like it, uh, maybe a little bit less intense, but like as a soap or a got to be. Like it's a super easy quick kind of way to do your brows and I've been really liking it because now that I've got like bangs I don't want to put like a bunch of effort into my eyebrows. 
I love this stuff. I love it for your lashes and your eyebrows. I'm gonna need to buy 20 backups because at this rate, it's gonna be gone in another week. Um, so I've been using a lot this Odenzai Norns highlight in Wicked Destiny. Um, it's the pink one. It's kind of similar to like the pink Fenty Diamond Balm, but a little bit, um, it has a little less rose in it. It definitely has more pink in it. Um, more but peach I, too. Yeah, yeah. This one, it's just so pretty. It's very much like a Diamond Balm type product, like sheer creamy sparkle. Um, I just love it. And I love that I have multiple tones of this, like a, like a, a yellowish one and then a pink one and then a blue one. Like, yes. Although I don't like these on my eyes. Let me clarify that. They're too creamy on the eyes. They like, they do that weird thing that those, that the Robbie de Christi Super Shocks did on me. Where they like balled up. Yeah, where they have, it was like a ball of product. So I don't tend to use these on my eyes, even on my inner corners, um, but I love it on the cheeks. Love it, love it, love it. Now, now we were doing a declutter recently. That video is already up at this point, but um, this is the, what is it? The Becca Pearl Glow Shimmering Eye Palette. Now we thought about decluttering this because it is neutral. It's majority neutral. And although there's these really pretty shimmer shades in here, we just don't reach for it that often, but I have been gravitating a lot towards neutrals. And so I was like, okay, like, let me just put it in my, my bucket. My, we have buckets that we just throw our, like our, daily, our makeup. daily makeup in. Um, and I'm like, I'm just going to put it in my bucket and see if I get a lot of use out of it. Well, I have been, I've been thoroughly enjoying this palette. So like this shade right here is very similar to like a Pat McGrath, like celestial kind of shade, like that really chunky kind of glittery topper. Um, and this one, it's got like pink in it. They, these, these golds, like these, um, these, mm, it's been working for me. I'm really, really enjoying this. So I'm glad I didn't get, get rid of it. I think, I think I'm going to get more use out of this than I originally thought if I keep it in my daily bucket. Um, so the, I know this is, I think this is gone for good now, but the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette, this has been in my uh, project half pan for a couple of months now. I've just been just loving it. I love everything about this. Uh, my favorite shade has got to be Firefly, this like sheer sparkly green color. Mm -hmm. um, but I also, I just love the mattes. I love all of the shimmers in here. Like it's just my perfect palette. And I think that's mainly because they included all of these deeper jewel tones. Mm -hmm. And I don't like every time I love a palette, I'm like, oh, this is great, but I'm going to need to deepen it up with something else. I don't have that with this very often. Like sometimes I'll add in like a black if I want something really, really intense. Uh, but everything in here, like all of these darker tones are like truly deep jewel tones. I just mm -hmm. love them. And I love the texture in here. I love this lime green gravity. Fantastic. And this green uh, queen of blades. Mm. Love, 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 love. That's such a good palette. So good. I'm so glad I decided to put it in my project top pan. New Natasha's Endo palettes here. Palos here, palettes here. I already ordered it, thank you. Well, would this be a favorites without mentioning, you know, the only thing that, that matters in our makeup collection? Our sparkly topper eyeshadow palette. <laughs> so um, all of these are Cleona shades. So this top row, um, the white ones are the iridescent glitter multi-chromes. And then the rest of these are mostly glitter multi-chromes. We've got some vibrant glitter multi-chromes and some normal jewel some multi-chromes. Multi um, up here is JB Glow. And then this one is from Kyma Cosmetics. Um, I mean, are you joking? Um, we do want to do like a big... Cleona video. Number one, they do amazing on our channel, so like we might as well. Um, number two, we just have so many that I think it would be nice to do a lot of comparisons now of anything that seems to look kind of similar in the pan or whatever. Um, but I need to, I wanted to film that today, but I didn't do any pre-planning for that, which needs to be done. So there's that. Um, <laughs> but I just love, I love this palette. I, I reach into it almost every time I do my makeup. It just it just has so much, you know, variety to it. I can spice up any look with one of these shades. Yeah. Ugh, so good. And this palette is from Adapt. It's the big, like, snakeskin, black, yeah. well, fake snakeskin. Don't worry, we didn't kill snake. Adapt didn't neither. <laughs> so I'm getting back into this Lottie London freckle tint. I'm going to have to order another because this one is basically gone. Um, but I haven't been loving any more the, like, stippling sponge freckles on myself. They look fine. They look fine. There's nothing wrong with them on me. I just think this looks better on me. I don't know why that is, but I just like it. It's very inky and easy to use, and I love the color of it. It's just like this 
like gorgeous red brown and it's mm -hmm. sheer and it just looks very natural I feel um so I'm gonna order another one of these I think because this one's almost gone but I'm so glad I got that that'll be our third yeah we've gone through I'm sure we've mentioned it in the favorites video before I have like a lip combo I've been dying for recently so this is the NYX lip liner and nude truffle um I also got another one called like nude beige or something I've been using those interchangeably love these lip liners like I didn't think I would use them because I tend to go for like a deeper sort of lip liner like Rachel does mm -hmm. but these I feel like give the perfect like lip contour effect you know just like a slight pout it doesn't it's not like clearly overlined like it is with something a little deeper I don't know something about it just Work it's just working for me um and then an oldie bit of goldie maybelline baddest beige i'm getting back into this and i've normally just been using this as like a very sheer coat like i don't even do this i just like pat it on like this and it gives me just like this slight wash of like milky peachy sheen oh, oh. <laughs> this is like what our fourth i've gone through so many of second lipsticks i love them <sighs> danessa 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 this freaking Essentials palette is so good. When I tell you I use this almost every day on my lips, it's such a- these formulas on the lips are just the bomb. It's because of the squalene in them, man. They're so like emollient. They don't feel like- it doesn't feel like uh, a lip palette, you know? It's so- It's not wax. So good. If you can get me to get out of a bullet lipstick to go into this palette, like you know it's good because I literally never do that. This is just so phenomenal. Ugh. It's gorgeous oh on the God. face. It's gorgeous on the eyes. I just am obsessed with this and I want everything else Danessa Myers has to offer. On the same note, I wanted to mention this. This is the Danessa Myers Color Fix Matte in Exposed. It's like a really nice, like neutral toned kind of brown. Um, this is the perfect nude waterline color for me. So the thing I struggle with with nude waterlines is they're always too bright for me. Like I know the goal is to open up your eyes, to brighten them, but for some reason on my eyes it makes me look like cross-eyed or something. Like it's just too stark. It doesn't look like she woke up bright-eyed. It looks yeah. like she put in a stark. It looks nude weird on me. Eyeliner in her waterline. Yeah, and part of that me could too. be like just me. the the way I do like my mascara and stuff and my eyeshadow, but. Um, this one is like the perfect mid-tone brown where it adds a little bit of something in your waterline, um, but not too much. So it does give you that kind of brightened awake, awake look, but it's natural. I don't know. It looks so good. Now, I wouldn't expect it based on this color. If you have a deeper skin tone, this would probably work really well for you as well in that regard. Um, but just be careful with these because you have to be careful in the way you apply them in the waterline. Otherwise, you're gonna it's gonna run everywhere because if you just put like a glob on a brush and swipe it on your eyes are gonna water and it's gonna fall it's gonna like clown your eyes yeah it's a whole thing so i just use like like a tiny little brush or the back of a brush and i just dip this as just a base color on the eyes paired with either um cosmic charge from ColourPop or uh what the fuck are you called temper from warwick beautiful 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 best like Neutral. coolish tone neutral sparkly eye you can get is with this and one of these products huh? Huh? I actually have been liking this a lot more I don't use it all the time but when I do I'm like mm. <laughs> right well that's all for our little favorites video um we didn't have you know that much to mention because we don't really like mentioning fake favorites like we don't like to be like oh yeah oh, I used this a couple times and it was like it's my nice. favorite now like no 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 not gonna happen for us um so we do try and mention anything that actually is a favorite something, something we use, use quite often or every time we use it we're obsessed with it that kind of thing um but let us know what your your current favorites are i would love to know um don't give me a reason to buy anything uh because i am just been spending too much money recently i did buy the new natasha palette don't worry it'll be in soon actually it might be out for delivery today because i pre-ordered it so it'll be here soon um <laughs> we'll we'll get a video up on that but Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.